Hello guys, uh, I want to talk about uh, the story of Abraham, you know we know according to the Bible that uh, God he asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, uh, but in the Quran the story saying that Abraham he was asked to sacrifice his son but that son was Ishmael, the Bible say it was Isaac. Now you know what, I don't prove Muslims lies from my book because Muslims simply they will say we don't accept your book anyway I don't accept their book anyway too but it's good to prove their lies from their book because their books exposing them now this is the book of Musa Ahmad and by the way uh, the six correct writers there are six books not only Muslims not only Sahih al-Bukhari the six the correct six are very well known Ahmad is one of them which means this is a book, it's very correct, uh, very authentic. And I can show you from different books too. But let us talk in here first. So, the book of Musad Ahmad, uh, the book name Musnad Bani Hashim, Hadith number 2658. The chapter, the start of Musnad of Abdullah, the son of Abbas. This is the chapter name. Now, in here we will see the Prophet saying, now this is Muhammad talking guys this is not anyone Muhammad is saying that this is Muhammad telling the story Muhammad he exposed his lies from his mouth I think this guy he have a problem maybe he forgot what he say <laughs> you know like don't ask him to repeat the story twice because each, each, each time will come in different way let us see the Prophet he said Jibreel he went to Abraham now uh, uh, Muhammad is talking about the story of Abraham and God telling Abraham you have to sacrifice your son uh, so Jibreel he went to Abraham ila Jamrat al -Aqaba. he to a place it's called Jamrat al -Aqaba. this is where the Muslims uh, they throw seven rocks seven uh, uh, rocks and supposedly this is the the house of Satan this is a very funny belief too because Satan have no house but anyway uh, so he and he took him to throw there uh, seven rocks uh, and he did then he uh, came to the to the uh, place and he uh, were like you know uh, want to throw the, 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 the middle one and then he saw the Satan again and he uh, 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 throw seven rocks again then he came to the last uh, 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 throne he had he is going to do and he saw the Satan again so he threw another seven rocks in that Satan and when Abraham he went to cut the throat of his son Isaac read with me guys when Abraham فَلَمَّا أَرَادَ إِبْرَاهِيمْ أَنْ يَذْبَحَ إِبْنَهُ إِسْحَاقِ when Abraham he wanted to cut the throat of his son Isaac Isaac he said to Abi hey my dad tie me up so when you tie me I will not move and I will not put my blood who will be shed over you so who is the one Abraham he was going to kill it was Isaac you see it this is your Islamic hadith this is your official government website as you see this is not my site and I can show you that from different locations you see Muslim books contradict each you know Muhammad is a big big liar so the one he was going to be killed by Abraham it was Isaac as you see فَلَمَّا أَرَادَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ أَنْ يَذْبَحَ إِبْنَهُ إسحاق. he wanted to kill his own son Isaac Isaac he said to his father tie me up father so when you kill me my blood will not be all over you and I will not be moving then he heard Abraham he heard a voice from his back saying and this is a verse from the Quran he Abraham the vision come true the vision come true now who is the one is saying that let us see too so to see who is the one is saying that we will click in here this is a link for the Quran this is from the same Muslim website you know we will click in here and you will go to the other page and you will see in there 
that this is Allah saying to Abraham that this is Ibn Kathir you know you know what God Allah he asked you وَنَدَيْنَاهُ أَنْ يَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ قَدْ صَدَقَتُ الرُّؤْيَا إن, إِنَّ كَذَلِكْ نُجْزِي uh, الْمُحْسِنِينَ so uh, God Allah he said to he saying and when he, Allah he said and we call him he Abraham the vision came true you know guys Allah is saying to Abraham the vision came true why Allah will say that the vision came true I, I don't know you know if this is happened to me I will say the vision came true not Allah will say that to me and Abraham he is a believer and what vision you know this is really weird anyway so let us continue uh, and you will see he's saying أي قد حصل المقصود من رؤياك بالضجائك ولدك للذبح which mean the vision of seeing your son and your son will be killed you know ready to be killed so as we see this is the Quran and this is the Hadith and this is connected in the Islamic side together the one who was going to be killed it was Isaac not Ishmael as Muslims do lie and they say it was Ishmael let us continue together let me show you how Muslims do lie this is just three or four verses after the verse we were talking about you know and here it says in the explanation he is saying it is Ishmael or Isaac <laughs> Ishmael or Isaac so Muslims they are saying it was Isaac but then here saying it's it is Ishmael or Isaac so you Muslims even not sure he is who he is Ishmael or Isaac so why you are saying always is Ishmael <laughs> anyway and here we will see that Allah he sent a special a special a lamp it is coming from the sky to sacrifice the son of Abraham now in here we will see something really strange I will talk about it in different video because this is a very big topic this verse is really big and important that Allah he asked for sacrifice and he is sending sacrifice you know Muslims they say to us there is no need to sacrifice when it is in their book Allah is asking for sacrifice if there is no need for sacrifice why Allah is doing that he is mentally sick what he was drunk if sacrifice idea is just a Christian idea why your God Allah is asking Abraham not to kill a goat no to kill his son and this is in your book so the idea of sacrificing it is coming from God not from me but Muslims don't know and until now Muslims they sacrifice lambs and sheep why why somebody will tell you for the poor you know this is not the idea really read in here it's not about poor this is just because what Abraham what happened to Abraham from that day until now you are doing it and you are celebrating this as a big holiday and even when Allah told Abraham not to kill his son what he did he sent sacrifice from God from the sky the lamb according to Quran it was coming from the sky and this is what the explanation is saying you know Ja'a bihi Jibreel alayhi salam the God he sent a big big male sheep from the heaven and it is sent by Jibreel to Abraham so you know this is really a, a very weird but we will talk about that later so the main topic that Muslims you know saying that this is Isaac not Ishmael so why Muslims always lie to us and say it was Ishmael why they contradict themselves and each book is different you know cannot you make one lie even make it make it look good at least make it look good shame on you peace of the Lord with everyone Jesus Lord and the book of Quran is the book of lie. I mean, see ya.